a good young body manages all her beauty. I'm here to explain the special electricity of the design. In this design, can you see that? <laughs> don't have any power supply now. I want the first fire to be energized. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I want the first fire to be energized. So, 24 7, you want energy from the first fire. So, the first thing you need is you need a bigger power pack like this. You need a bigger power pack that can save energy. You need another in good power pack. If I use this and I don't use this, the, this circuit will not see any power, so it will be raising alarm. It's not a false alarm, it's an alarm that the power is not coming out. So, the next thing I need to do now is here, can you see these two connections? One is light, and the other one is siren. This is the light, and this is the siren. I will talk about that one in another video. So, the first thing we need to do is that from the panel outside. Which is around 200 watt plus. This is coming from the panel. It will enter into our solar panel. And note, you are not connecting your solar panel first in any design. Because if you connect solar panel first, this thing can come. So it will receive higher voltage. We are connecting to this battery pack first here. This battery pack can allow higher voltage. So after connecting to the battery pack on the battery design, your inverter. Sorry, or your charge controller. You will now, you can see this place they put light, like bulb. This can handle between 12 to 14 volts based on this design. So if it's a 24 volt device, you can accommodate 24 to 27 volts. If it's a 12 volt device, you can accommodate between 12 to 14.5 volts. Because the battery is smaller. And I want a relatively constant voltage. From the battery here, we make a hole here. Show them the hole here. You make a hole here. You connect the battery to the load on your charge controller. So no matter the condition, the voltage reaching this smaller battery will, be no, it will not be more than 14 volts. The voltage reaching here, the bigger battery can be more than 14 because the battery can accommodate it. The next thing I'm now going to do is after connecting this, this the main one, I'll connect the smaller one here. Bring the cover. I will connect my this is meant for our siren and alarm. I will show you guys the siren and the alarm. Please be careful with it. Okay. We have not connected the siren and alarm because we just captured this thing. So the siren will blow in case of an intrusion. The alarm will the siren will blow. The light, the flash lights will only work when the alarm blows. If there is no alarm. <laughs> the flash light will work. We have another light that we call a strobe light. Then it's almost strobe light. You know? So I will show you the. So, so this is our gate contactor. So the function of this gate contactor is the moment the contactor swings in our gate, these two points will reach our gate at a lock pace, although we are using motorized gate. Although they are not using motorized, we are not using motorized gate. Here. We have a lock pace. So the moment there is a lock pace, this connect circuit. Do you understand what I'm saying? And what do you notice? The moment this thing touch, the sound will start coming out yeah. showing that this has also received a contact speed. And when it receives a contact, a charge will flow through it. And if you are doubting me, you can touch the wire. 